animal cells. Every living thing is made up of one or more tiny units called cells. All the processes needed for life, such as producing energy from food, take place inside cells. Parts of a cell. There are many different kinds of cells, each with a particular job to do, but most share certain features. Cells contain a number of small parts called organelles, which have various functions. The largest and most important organelle is the nucleus. This controls everything that happens inside the cell. It has a double-layered outer skin, called the nuclear membrane, and a gel-like middle. All cells are surrounded by a protective layer called the cell membrane, which holds together the contents of the cell. This layer is semi-permeable, which means that it lets some substances pass through it, but not others. The rest of the cell is called the cytoplasm. The cell membrane, nucleus, and cytoplasm are collectively called the protoplasm. A cluster of animal cells shown at many thousand times its real size. Centrioles play a part in cell division. Ribosomes help to build up substances called proteins, which are needed for all functions within the cell. Lysosomes destroy invading bacteria and parts of the cell which are no longer needed. Organelles in a typical animal cell not shown to scale. The Golgi complex stores and distributes the substances made inside the cell. Nucleus. The nuclear membrane has channels called nuclear pores, which can open and close to let information carrying chemicals or messenger RNA out to the ribosomes. Inside the nucleus are chromosomes, which contain DNA. The nucleolus makes the ingredients of ribosomes. Mitochondria convert simple substances into energy for the cell. Vacuoles are small, temporary sacs in the cytoplasm. They are used as storage areas for liquids or fats. The endoplasmic reticulum is a series of channels used to transport materials around the cell. These cells are growing and dividing. Many cells reproduce themselves to allow growth and to replace cells that wear out naturally. Cell division. Cells are constantly dying or wearing out, so new ones need to be made. Cells make copies of themselves by splitting into two identical cells called daughter cells. Stages of cell division. This single cell is about to start dividing. The nuclear membrane disappears and the contents of the nucleus begin to pull apart. The contents reform as two identical nuclei. The division of the nucleus is called mitosis. A cleavage furrow forms cutting through the middle of the cell. Two daughter cells are formed. The division of the cytoplasm is called cytokinesis. Building with cells. Different cell types have different functions. This is called specialization. Animal cells come in a variety of shapes and sizes depending on their job. Cells of the same type combine to form tissue. For example, columnar epithelial cells are long and column shaped and allow substances to pass through them. They group together to make a tissue called epithelium. This is ideal for lining organs such as intestines because gases and liquids can pass through it easily. Columnar epithelial cells, nucleus, cytoplasm. Several different types of tissue together form an organ such as the stomach or intestines. Epithelial cells, muscle cells, cells group together. Epithelial tissue, muscle tissue. Tissues combine to form the wall of the intestine. Systems. A group of organs which does a particular job is known as a system. For example, an animal's digestive system breaks down its food into simpler substances. The digestive system of the frog below contains four main organs, the stomach, liver, pancreas, and intestine. Organs in a frog's digestive system. Liver, pancreas, stomach, intestine. A frog has other systems, including a skeletal system, which supports its body, and a circulatory system, which transports blood around it. All the systems together make up a living individual called an organism, in this case, a frog.